All right, so today I'm making a video on uh, fixing the Mavic Air. Uh, I won't say how I broke this exactly, but um, I'll tell you this. Um, don't fly, don't try and fly your drone or do any test flights in your garage, especially if you have equipment. And I'll leave it at that. Um, so basically what happened is when it crashed, one of the motors actually separated, right, completely got severed here. Alright, so what I have to attempt to do is reattach it. Now, it's a pretty clean break, okay, it's a pretty clean break. The wire is still attached and does not look severed or disconnected, it looks like the insulation is a little bit um, is cut, but nothing else looks damaged. Um, what I'll have to do is um, I'm gonna I'm gonna insert the battery and just see if everything is functioning properly. And if it is, then I'll know that the wiring All right. So the connection here is still good. All right, so boom. All of them seem to be working just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. And just to make things easier, I'll remove the battery. So it's this back left motor. So I got two things. Um, first of all, I got um, some Loctite plastic. All right, so this is a uh, Loctite specifically for plastics. And then just as a backup, I got some um, self-fusing uh, tape. And this is non-adhesive tape. So the cool thing about this is it's not gonna be sticky or leave any residue. And I'll just use that to uh, wrap up the outside afterwards, just if it needs. Now down the road, I'm definitely gonna have to take this in and get it repaired so that it's brand new. But I looked up quotes for the repair, and it's gonna cost about half of the price of the drone itself. Um, so I don't have the funds to do that. But I do have time, as you can see, I'm making this video. And I do have, um, I think this was $5 for this plastic glue kit. So we've got a couple things here. Put the activator primer on both surfaces. You let it dry for 60 seconds, and then you apply the glue to one side, and then you press the parts together. So I've got the activator, which is here. So this is the activator, and it comes with a felt tip. So that'll be easy. And then we've got the glue itself. So we have the glue, and let's bring it up here. Oh wow, most of that is empty. Come on, now you're in there. Holy cow, is there even anything in here? This is like a one-time use, guys. All right, there's the glue, there's the glue. So we gotta apply this to both sides. So we're looking at this surface here. I wanna make sure I get everything that I possibly can here. And then on this side as well. Some of this, it's easy to see it go on and then some of it is um, actually kind of hard to see if it's being applied or not. This is the activator. Alright, so that's got to dry for 60 seconds. So you only have to hold it together for 30 seconds. Um, but it takes a full 12 to 24 hours to fully cure. Alright, so it's been about a minute here. So here we go. I'm going to put it on the larger surfaces of the two. And then we'll see how this goes. So, all right, let's give this a go. All right, so it fits nicely. Count to 30 seconds. All right, moment of truth here. Wow, that didn't even budge. I think we might be good to go. I'm twisting on it just a little bit to see and it looks like it's snug as a bug, oh my gosh. If this works, I'll be so happy. Um, I'm gonna let it hang out for a second. Um, when I wrecked this, I thought I had lost $850 because that's what I spent on the entire like bundle package because it came with some other stuff. Um, and when it hit the ground and a piece went flying across the floor, and I heard that crack, oh my gosh, I was devastated. Sure enough, one of these little landing gear pieces, 
the bottom there. One of those popped out. Um, and fortunately, it snapped back in. And then it was just kind of a clean break. Um, now something I'm seeing right now, actually, is some physical body damage to the motor housing itself. Now it doesn't seem like it'll affect the motor at all, but if you look here, right in here, there is some uh, damage to the housing. It's dented, um, probably, be, probably because when it landed, it landed on this side, and uh, the housing smashed into the arm. Now, surprisingly, I've been looking over this, the propellers don't seem to have anything more than tiny, tiny nicks. Um, the whole thing came crashing down from uh, probably six to eight feet. Um, and I don't see any kind of physical damage to it. Let me go ahead and plug in the battery and we'll see how it does. Alright, so this is the damaged one. The connection seems to be there. Alrighty, we'll take it out for a test in a little bit and see how it does. Alright, it's been about uh, 30 minutes. I'm gonna power this guy on. Power this guy on. We're just gonna um, try and see how it does. Um, just kind of getting the propellers going here. Alright, I'm just gonna let it idle here. It looks like it's handling the torque just fine. All right, moment of truth here. So we just took it on a uh, quick test flight, uh, just view for flight, and one of my main concerns was that the glue here would not be able to hold up to the torque of the motor and the prop turning. Uh, it seemed kind of rough and it was having a hard time um, hovering, but I have no concerns. It seems to be holding up just fine. Um, I have to say DJI makes a good um, body and frame for this because for it to fall out of the air at about six feet um, and walk away with no internal um, damage, electronic sensors, anything like that. You, if you watch this video again, you'll notice that I was trying to fly it off the table and back towards me and it was stopping because the sensors were detecting me. Um, it stops about three feet away from any kind of objects, front, back, and below. Um, so those were working just fine. And um, you can see here, no problems with the, um, with the motor itself um, coming detached, it looks like a solid glue. So shout out to uh, DJI for making a uh, really tough product as well as Loctite for making some really good glue. I mean, this was $5 and um, I just brought back to life um, an $800 drone that I actually need to use uh, today for work as well as next week for work. Um, I'm gonna be doing a um, shoot for an off-road to uh, ATV touring company um, Doing a video ad for him and then I'm also doing um, a drone shot uh, For a local training studio down the road from here um, So there you have it guys um, if you end up crashing your drone um, Here's a quick fix uh, video on how you can do that um, with just some glue and I'd also recommend using these guys um, if I had been using these when it crashed. Actually, let me take that back. If I had been using these when I was flying it in my garage, it would not have crashed. It's It only crashed because the prop hit an object and threw it out of flight. If I had these uh, bumpers on, it would have just bumped into the object um, in the, and it, wouldn't have, it would have been totally fine. So guys, if yours comes with these, use them if you want to save yourself a couple hundred dollars um, in repairs or buying a new drone. Thanks for watching. 
don't fly in your garage.